Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Good Thursday morning to you all. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day. A great week out there so far as we're uh, getting to the tail end of it and almost to the weekend. Got you an update on what's going to happen weather-wise specifically for today, for your Thursday. Not a whole lot's going on, but it looks like the beginning stages of this cold front we've talked about in a couple videos is going to be well underway for areas of the Great Lakes regions in uh, the north central U.S. So we'll talk about that. Temperatures could actually drop throughout the day in certain parts of the country <clears throat> in northern sections of our country. So we'll talk about that and then we'll obviously give you a big update on the tropics. Uh, so stay tuned for that if you're interested, if you're in the Caribbean, Central America. Uh, we'll give you the latest information on that as it looks like you guys are going to get hit by some kind of tropical system. A major hurricane as of right now, it does not look to be the case, but this will be an impactful event, so we'll give you the latest information on that. I'm working on consistently making sections on these videos, guys, but, you know, in my morning and evening videos, my morning videos, I'll drop my video and I immediately hop in the shower and then I get my girls ready and I go to take them to school, I take them to work, I mean, I, then I go to work, and by the time that I can actually sit down and actually work on making sections of these videos, I'm in my full-time job, and it's hard to take five, ten minutes just to stop and do that. Uh, same thing with the evenings. After I drop the evening videos, I immediately go hang out with my family, which I should be doing. <laughs> and um, it's just hard to make time for the, the little details, and that's why hopefully one day I can do this full-time for you guys. But anyways, if you guys have not subscribed, consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. It goes a long way, guys, and I really appreciate it. And if you guys got anything that I can pray about, pray over, please put it in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to pray over it, and it gives others an opportunity to do so, too. Sorry I didn't get my video out last night. Um, for folks who have been watching, you know, for the last few months, I had plumbing issues about a month ago. And I've, unfortunately, they have uh, kind of uh, reared their ugly head back up. I've been checking every week behind the people who did it. Check last night, and unfortunately, I saw a leak in the same exact spot. So... Trying to keep my head over water. I understand that people got it um, a lot harder than others. So I'm trying to not blow it out a portion of my head and have anxiety about it. Because in the grand scheme of things, I got my health. I got a beautiful family. I'm blessed. So it, it's, it's, it's hard to stress about earthly things like that. So, But I am asking for prayers just for the situation. So, And I really appreciate you guys and the family atmosphere we have here. But we'll get through it. It'll be all right. It'll all buff out like it always does. So let's take a look at what's happening in the Atlantic Basin and the U.S. as a whole. <clears throat> as you can tell, your eyes probably go right to this. This is 91L still. It's not a depression as of right now. That could change sometime today. But uh, the reason it is kind of struggling, and I think the reason the models do not have this developing within the next, I would say, 48 hours, is because it's hugging land really bad. I mean, it, it's, um, it's really kind of grinding the northern sections of South America, make sure I don't say Africa like I have, but South America and, um, you know, just with land interactions, having a hard time right now developing. If this was a little bit further north, guys, like a little bit more into the Central Caribbean, I'm sorry, the Eastern Caribbean, if you will, this would probably start popping off a little bit better. But luckily, it's not because it's really close and really far south and interacting with South America. So, that's good news. That's good news. But there's going to be an opportunity for this to develop elsewhere. We're watching a big trough, a big cold front that's going to be starting to move out of Canada. In fact, just over the U.S.-Canadian line, I think it is snowing in portions of Canada. I'm not really expecting that in the U.S., but we're going to talk about that here in a second. The actual National Hurricane Center update, and stay tuned. We're going to get deeper besides this little tropical update. We're going to talk about a couple things in the second half of the video, but there's an 80% chance for this to develop into a depression or a named storm within the next 48 hours. So ABC Islands, you guys are going to be seeing some gusty winds, maybe gale force winds out here over the next 24 hours probably. So, you know, not nothing too crazy, nothing you guys can't handle, but definitely uh, just be weary of the weather out there. So break it down for the U.S. The southeast, very quiet. No, no reason to really stay on this very long. Um, Maybe a pop-up uh, shower or storm in far south, southern areas of uh, Florida. But other than that, pretty quiet. The northeast, we finally have shook off uh, the remnants of Ian. Uh, and I don't think we're going to get any rain today in New Jersey, southern New England, anywhere in the Delmarva area. It looks like it's just going to be chill today. Uh, maybe some lingering cloud cover. But I think all in all, a nice day today, especially tomorrow. But 
you can see some energy moving in from the west to the east. You already got some showers up here in western areas of New York State. And this is from the approaching cold front. You see the blue on the map? You always love to see that. See that? At least I do. Um, but uh, you can see it. You know, in Canada, uh, there's some cold air behind this. Really cold air for early October standards. And uh, I think sometime this evening, you're certainly going to get some shower activity uh, throughout Michigan and maybe getting into also Ohio and then Indiana. For the south central U.S., uh, some showers in the Amarillo area, maybe sneaking up into the panhandles of, uh, of Oklahoma. Other than that, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. But the interesting section of the country today, I think, is the north central U.S., and we'll start this off this morning. I got a couple people who watch in the UP of Michigan. And, you know, you guys are always faithful watchers. And, uh, and I really appreciate you guys up there, especially uh, watching from someone who's from the South and uh, doesn't probably always cover this area of the country as much. But um, you guys still tune in. I really appreciate it. But anyways, uh, today you're going to have a lot of shower activity in Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan, coming over Lake Superior. The cold air is going to rush over Lake Superior. And as you can tell back here, you got some uh, splashes of blue that is snow. So as you can tell, cold air rushes in behind this. And then, you know, maybe sometime overnight tonight, late this evening, maybe a rain shower can mix with a little bit of snow in certain sections of the UP of Michigan, maybe even drifting in the far northern Wisconsin, maybe even some snow showers in northern Minnesota. I would not be surprised at all. Accumulations, I doubt it, but this isn't super uncommon. I mean, the change of the seasons it's getting into the second week of october out here and um well you know first second week of october and i mean this just happens but there's going to be some lake effect almost moisture and that's just due to the fact this cold air is rushing over lake superior so i mean some of this could be a lake effect snow shower a, a big old band of snow I, I doubt it but you guys could certainly see some snow showers I think overnight tonight so um, don't be surprised and, and I know you guys aren't I know that's that's pretty normal for you guys especially as we get later into the colder parts of the year but it even has one shooting off here into Michigan so you know Lake Michigan maybe a little bit of a rain snow shower feeder coming off here but it's interesting there's a lot of blue on the map so you know don't be surprised and you know we look at temperatures today for this the warm this is technically the warmest part of the day I mean, it looks like a big eyesore as basically you have a big tight gradient or where the cold front's coming through and where the warm air still is ahead of the front. So you're going to warm all the way up into potentially around 70 degrees in Maine, uh, 60s and potentially 70s for the interior areas of the Northeast. Warm day. If you like warm weather and you're in the Northeast, certainly go out there and enjoy it because cold air moves in for the weekend and it looks pretty chilly for the foreseeable future. And same thing for the South. Now, the South, especially the far Southeast and South you get, You'll have one warm day tomorrow, too, as the cold cold front ain't moving that fast. So uh, it's not going to make it between now, you know, and, and in the morning all the way to the eastern U.S. But in general, 80s today, some certain areas could hit close to 90 degrees in Little Rock to Dallas. Shreveport potentially could nip 90 degrees today. But uh, warm day everywhere across. So even Ohio Valley, temperatures in the 70s. I want to take a closer look at the north central U.S. Check this out. You're waking up to already some chilly conditions, 40s and 50s. But... Nothing too crazy for this time of the year. You briefly warm up ahead of the front, and I'll stop this around, you know, this is probably around 11 a.m. noon time, uh, central time out here. And as you can tell, you know, you warm briefly into the mid-50s in the UP of Michigan. It's a good example area right here. And, you know, around 10, 11 a.m., and then your temperatures drop. So by the time you're about the middle part of this afternoon, temperatures are in the mid to low 40s. And that is because cold air rushes in. So expect temperatures to drop up here in this region of the country today. Stiff north wind moves in, and it feels like a winter chill certainly moves in. I, unless you still call this a fall chill. I know up here, the 30s is certainly not that cold. For down here in the south, it certainly is. But temperatures drop throughout the day today in this section of the country as a pretty stout cold front moves through. So... Let's take, give you an update on the tropics and what's going on out here. Some pretty robust convection blowing up. You see the whites and pinks that is indicating some high cloud tops, some uh, uh, some you know convection moving up in the high levels of the atmosphere. You know, indicating some pretty strong or robust convection. So, uh, but look how it's grinding the the northern coastline of South America. So. 
Um, it's interacting with land a lot. It's hard to they can really get a good low-level circulation. That probably is one under all this mid-level convection. But this, the idea is, is this is probably going to drift over some land, but then it's going to enter this section of the Southern Caribbean right down here. Nicaragua right here, Honduras, Belize right here, and then Guatemala right here. So the idea is this is eventually going to drift into this area of the Caribbean. It's going to have about, I would say, 36 hours, give or take an hour, to develop because it's going to be under over water. So, you know, the GFS shows this well. You know, we'll start this tomorrow morning. This eventually gets over the Caribbean, and we'll stop this overnight tomorrow night into Friday, into Saturday morning. As you can tell, this number begins to drop, which indicates strengthening, but no real big rapid intensification, but it's strengthening all the way to landfall into Nicaragua. So makes landfall. It's probably a tropical storm will mo most likely be Julia. Makes landfall is Julia around Sunday morning to afternoon, evening, give or take. Brings in a lot of rain, you know, gusty winds. It's not a catastrophic storm by any means, but some, the GFS wants us to drift kind of northwest and almost try to get back over water in this area of the Caribbean right here and then move right into Belize and then bring some probably some gusty winds, showers, some heavy rain and a flooding issue just due to higher elevations in Central America. So uh, just expect... Uh, definitely uh, an impactful weather weekend if you're in this area of Central America. I really certainly do think so into early next week. The European, kind of the same deal. The GFS was kind of lost out there showing a doomsday scenario, but now it's kind of came back to reality. But the European, getting into Saturday morning, this is where it's going to be prime for development right into here. Notice that number drops sub 1,000 millibar low pressure. And then the European is actually stronger than the GFS now. The European makes us all the way to a 990 millibar low pressure. That's probably around a tropical storm. Makes landfall in Nicaragua as a tropical storm sometime Sunday morning. And then brings just a lot of heavy rain and uh, flooding issues and some gusty winds. And then potentially gets back over the Pacific. Might try to develop again, make a secondary landfall on the western coast of Mexico. Who knows? Um... The Icon, which, you know, I'm starting to, to like this model. Icon kind of follows the path of more so the uh, European. and even actually takes a landfall around Sunday morning. Uh, I would say this would be almost a Category 1 hurricane and a 983 millibar low pressure. Makes a landfall, and this would be a little bit more of an impactful scenario for Nicaragua. But this would bring, you know, rains all the way up into the Yucatan Peninsula too. Guatemala, Belize. Uh, so this would bring a lot of rains for you guys. So um, certainly here, this is the cone right here. This is, you know, the, I believe this is a 90% chance to develop in five days. But, you know, this is, you, you don't even call this a cone because this hasn't developed into a depression or anything like that. But notice most likely. But you notice that the cone is still inched a little further north um, or this area of interest where it can develop. So you know, if you're in Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, I wouldn't worry at all, but certainly keep your eye on this because you never know. You never know. Um, but I can tell you, like I said, there's going to be about a 36-hour period between, I would say, tomorrow afternoon and around Sunday morning where it's going to be in this environment right down here. And uh, warm sea surface temperatures, the wind pattern is going to be favorable. Uh, very a decently nice moisture bubble for this to work well. I think there will be a little bit of dry air on to the north of the storm that might help it not to rapidly intensify. That might be a big helper here. But other than that, I do think this is going to strengthen in this area of the Caribbean. But that's all I got, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll, I got the uh, people coming this evening. So there's a, there's a small chance I might not be able to get a video this evening either just because I'm going to have some things going on and the plumber coming out. But um, thank you all for understanding. Thank you all for creating a family atmosphere. And um, please don't take me coming over here asking for prayers, you know, things like that, you know, as uh, me uh, being depressed or anything like that about um, plumbing issues. I mean, that sounds like first world problems to me, and it certainly is. People... Um, people's got their health, people are losing their homes, much bigger issues. But, you know, of course, we all, you know, ask for prayers for the big things and the little things. So, you know, I appreciate you guys praying and looking out for, we all looking out for one another here. So, but that's all I got, guys. Y'all guys have a great Thursday, and hopefully I'll be with you guys this evening. God bless.